According to the Tenth Doctor, aka the national treasure that is David Tennant, People assume that time is a strict progression of cause to effect, but actually, from a non-linear, non-subjective viewpoint, it's more like a big ball of wibbly-wobbly, timey-wimey stuff. I don't know too much about the science of space and time, so when it comes to things that happen in the real world, I can't be sure how accurate that statement is. In video game land, however, there are plenty of examples of games that mess around with the progression of time. For this list, we've looked into the past, sadly without the use of a time machine, and picked out the very best games that give players the Groundhog Day experience, only without having to wake up listening to Cher every morning. How these games execute their time loop mechanic varies wildly, but the fact that players have to relive the same period over and over again is the one thing that they all have in common. I'm Ashton from Triple Jump and here are 10 time loop video games to mess with your brain. Number 10, Randall's Monday. If you like your point and click puzzle titles but often feel like they just don't come with enough pop culture references, then it might be worth trying your hand at Randall's Monday, the 2014 dark comedy adventure game from indie developer Nexus Game Studios. We'll get the criticism out of the way first. Randall himself isn't a particularly likeable guy. Admittedly, we've played and enjoyed an awful lot of games in the past with a protagonist whose moral compass doesn't exactly point due north, but we feel it's worth pointing out that Randall is a bit of a douche canoe. With that said though, if you can get past that, you'll find a game with an awful lot to offer. The puzzles, which are occasionally a little kooky in their solutions, are both fun and challenging, plus the UI is nice and easy to use. You can even press the spacebar to highlight all interactable objects, which is super handy. What's more, fans of classic video games and movies would have a whale of a time with a plethora of references within the game. We wouldn't necessarily recommend paying full price for Randall's Monday, but if you happen to spot it on the Steam sale, it's definitely worth a couple of quid. Number 10, Randall's Monday. Just kidding. Number 9, 12 Minutes. Upon its release in 2021, 12 Minutes proved a bit divisive. On the one hand, many critics and players found its premise to be innovative and engaging. Others, however, were unkeen on the ending and thought that the talents of James McAvoy, Daisy Ridley and Willem Dafoe were kind of wasted. You're involved too? You are so naive, such a child. Regardless of where you sit on the is this a good game fence, it's impossible to deny that 12 Minutes' core mechanic is incredibly intriguing. The game begins with an unnamed husband returning home to his unnamed wife. Before long, a man comes to the door claiming to be a cop. Once inside, he accuses the wife of murdering her father and strangles the husband to death. In terms of gameplay, 12 Minutes is of the top-down point-and-click variety and players can hold conversations with a small cast of characters and pick up and use various objects. Every time the husband dies, leaves the apartment or runs out of time, the loop resets. So players must use all of their wits and everything they've learned in previous playthroughs in order to make it out alive. Minor spoiler alert, there is no point in calling the police, they'll take 15 minutes to arrive. Pfft, bloody budget cuts. Number 8, Grim Grimoire. Okay, let's address the elephant in the room. Is it possible that the plot of Grim Grimoire is a teensy bit plagiarised from Harry Potter? Well, it follows a trainee witch who must protect her school from the evil wizard that's trying to steal the Philosopher's Stone, so we'll leave it to you to decide. So, who's the real Potter? I am! Protagonist Lilith Blan is just five days into her magical training when Archmage Calvaros attacks the school, killing everyone but her. Fortunately, before he can kill her, Lilith is sucked back in time and must relive the same five days over and over again in order to prevent the devastating attack. Players will need to ensure that prior to taking on the Archmage, Lilith is equipped with all of the necessary spells to battle the various foes. Most spells work in a rock, paper, scissors sort of way, in that they each have a type of magic they can best. So players will really need to get their tactics right in order to ensure success. Despite some clunky controls, which isn't uncommon for console-based real-time strategy games, Grim Grimoire is a must-play for any RTS fan with a passing interest in magic. By that we mean proper wizardy magic, of course, not whatever David Blaine does. Blaine was encased in a giant block of ice for three days and three nights. Weirdo. Number 7, Deathloop. 
Though Xbox fans were rather smug the day that Microsoft acquired Bethesda, Hot damn! PlayStation enthusiasts got to have one last laugh when Deathloop was released as a timed console exclusive. Oh no. Well, they'll be laughing on the other side of their face when Elder Scrolls 6 is on Game Pass day one. Yeah. Deathloop players take on the role of Colt, an assassin tasked with taking out eight different targets on the island of Black Reef. Naturally, it isn't as straightforward as simply picking them off one by one, as if they aren't all dead by midnight, the time loop resets, and Colt will have to do it all over again. Players aren't up against the clock as such, the day is divided into morning, noon, afternoon and evening, and time won't advance until the players move between districts. Though this gives them more freedom to explore and try out different things, it still doesn't make eliminating the targets easy. The key to beating Deathloop is in learning the targets routines and carefully planning how and when to attack. Don't get us wrong, we're all for the guns blazing approach, but certainly when it comes to Deathloop, it pays to take the stealthy option every once in a while. Number 6. Minute We'd usually be aggrieved by the blatant disrespect of the English language as shown on the title of indie adventure game Minute, but we're willing to let it slide on this occasion due to how interesting the game is. Minute begins when the player's character, a duck-like creature, finds a sword washed up on the shore. Sadly for them, the sword is cursed, and every 60 seconds, the player dies. Luckily, they get to keep any items they pick up along the way, so even though time resets after a minute and they revert back to the respawn point, they don't lose all of their progress. The overall aim of the game is to get to the sword factory as quickly as possible and stop the cursed swords from being produced. Don't be fooled by the jolly soundtrack or the pixel art graphics that evoke memories of the games like Legend of Zelda, because Minute is a massively stressful experience, albeit an enjoyable one for every second of its runtime. Anyone that's clever enough to beat the game will get the opportunity to do it a second time, only this time, the timer is reduced to just 40 seconds, which makes completing the necessary tasks even more difficult. Number 5. The Sexy Brutale if you're a fan of murder mystery games, then the Sexy Brutale might not be for you. After all, pretty much from the word go, players know who's doing the murders, so rather than digging for clues to find out who done it, it's more of a case of looking for solutions to prevent the murders from happening. To be fair though, the Sexy Brutale is a great game, so even if Poirot is your number one hunky boy, you'd probably still enjoy it. It's difficult to describe what makes the Sexy Brutale so intriguing without spoiling the game, but I will do my best. Each murder in the game is a puzzle to be solved, and by tailing the murderer and the victim, players will be able to pick up clues as to how the murder will play out. From there, they can go back in time to scupper the killer's plans and prevent the victim's death. The puzzles within the Sexy Brutale are clever and challenging, but without being too obtuse, and the creepy setting, exquisite art design and dry humour round off the game perfectly. Long story short, the Sexy Brutale needs to be played to be fully appreciated, and if you can find a more fun way of solving crimes while stuck in a time loop, well, I'll eat my hat. Oh. Number 4. Dinner with an Owl It's probably safe to say that not only is Dinner with an Owl the shortest game on this list, taking most players around 30 minutes to complete, but it's also one of the most bizarre. Available on Steam for the low, low price of free, Dinner with an Owl is a point-and-click adventure with a macabre twist. On the first day, the protagonist arrives at the home of a business associate to go through some contracts. Upon entering his office, however, he finds that the associate is actually an anthropomorphic owl. The protagonist is invited to dinner with the owl and his guests, and it quickly becomes apparent that something isn't right. You know, apart from the dude who's a talking owl. Players must find a way to escape by means of very few options that the game gives them. The fact that there's very little to actually click on, only a handful of dialogue choices and barely any items might make players think that the solution is straightforward but it's only after a few trips around the loop that things will click into place. It took our writer 13 in-game days to figure it out, but we gather that it can be done a heck of a lot quicker if you don't have jam for brains. Number 3. The Forgotten City 
There are a number of reasons why modders can be considered the backbone of the gaming community, and will no doubt be rewarded in the next life with all the Kit Kat chunkies they can eat. Chief among those reasons though is undoubtedly all of the games they created out of other games. The Stanley Parable, Counter-Strike and Dota 2 are all great examples of games that started out as mods, as is 2021's The Forgotten City, a title that was originally a mod for Skyrim. Set during the Roman Empire, The Forgotten City weaves a tale of a city protected by the gods under one condition. If anyone is to commit a sin, all citizens will be punished equally. It's basically the historical equivalent of your teacher keeping everyone inside at break time because Terry, the class loudmouth, can't keep his stupid annoying trap shut. It's your lunch time, guys. Aww. There is an awful lot to unpack in The Forgotten City, and the more the protagonist pulls at all the threads of the crime-free setting, the more they'll come to realise that it's no utopia. If nothing else, the writing alone makes for a brilliant experience, and as a whole, the game will have players questioning all they know about right and wrong long after they've managed to unpick the mystery. Number 2. Outer Wilds Usually failing at a game is not the end of the world, but when it comes to 2019's Outer Wilds, not only is it the end of the world, but it's the end of the entire universe. Not to be confused with action RPG The Outer Worlds, Outer Wilds sees players stuck in a 22 minute time loop and tasked with exploring a solar system and finding the cause of the time loop. Though the amount of time given to the player in each loop is short, the information gathered is retained when it restarts. So for example, if you find a code during one loop, it won't change and so can be used in the subsequent loops. Outer Wilds is very much a story focused game and encourages the player to discover as much of the lore within it as possible. The 22 minute time limit can be both thrilling and hugely stressful. It's incredibly exciting to find a piece of information that brings you one step closer to fully understanding the game, but the ticking clock is always in the back of your mind, urging you to press on. Outer Wilds' brand of storytelling and free exploration can be a little jarring to players who are used to their open worlds having a little more guidance, but if you can persevere through that, you'll find an experience that's truly out of this world. And number one, The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. Though time loop games have become really popular in the past few years, they're really nothing new, and arguably the first title to really put the mechanic to the forefront of the game was 2000's The Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask. The story takes place shortly after the events of Ocarina of Time, and follows Link as he attempts to save the world of Termina before the moon collides with it. Link has just three days to prevent the catastrophe, but by using the Ocarina of Time he can go back and start the period all over again. Players must be careful to ensure that they reset the loop before the 72 hours are up though, otherwise Link loses everything he's accomplished in those three days. At the time of the game's release, the idea of a time loop was novel, and critics lauded the premise of Majora's Mask for its ingenuity and execution. The rest of the game also received universal critical acclaim, so not only were players treated to a cool new mechanic, but they also got to do so in a well-written and visually stunning game that is now considered to be one of the greatest games of all time.